I want to thank all of those we've partnered with, especially the military. And I must say, we've had this discussion with the Commander-in-Chief, who is the Head of State, um, together with the CDF. We're going to be entering into an MOU framework, where in the areas we will still need the military, we will work with the military. And I will give you an example. The central garage has really improved. Our vehicles were everywhere in many garages. Something small was being charged at a million shillings. But uh, with the leadership of NMS and the general body, they were able to bring it back together. We shall continue that operation. In fact, I'm glad to announce that what used to be the fueling station at Central Garage is now going to be revived within a month. Our petrol station is going to operate. And we are going to enter into agreements and buy fuel at about five shillings less than commercial rates so that we can save the people of Nairobi millions and millions of shillings. We need that um, uh, efficiency. We've also agreed that we're going to do um, a proper tree planting exercise together with the private sector. If you go up KCC, which was my former office, and you look around this city, you see three ecological zones. There is the green side, then there is the brown side, and there's a side which is almost being a desert. We must plant trees. We must plant trees in the city. I know there was outcry by, about the pruning of a tree um, down the road. I think it was pruned a bit too much, but we're going to replace. We're going to bring fully grown trees. I know together with the Central Bank, we're bringing uh, a lot of uh, palm trees from Malaysia that are going to line up um, Harambe Avenue. We're going to line up City Hallway. Let us bring back the green city under the sun that we knew as young people. When we were growing up, I grew up just two kilometers from here. The city was green. We used to have Camero collecting garbage. Water was flowing. We must return Nairobi to that status and to take it above and beyond what it has been. I'm glad to report also that we're making a lot of progress on the issue of water. You know that every day the people of Nairobi uh, require 850 million liters of water, but we're only able to get 525.6 million liters. Um, together with the uh, Athi Water Works and Nairobi Water, we've had a discussion with His Excellency the President to speed up the Northern Collector Tunnel so that it is done before um, the expected date, which was next year, December, so that we can add another 140 million liters of water per day and make sure that water is received by the people of Nairobi. Water is a matter of dignity. They all need to receive it. Um, additionally to that, we are already in discussions to continue with the waste to energy plant. Dandora will not be the same again. We are going to convert our waste into energy and the MRA facilities that General Badi has spoken about across the town. And our young people are the ones who are going to do that work of collecting the garbage, sorting it out in the sub-counties before it is transmitted to the landfill. Kutakuwa na kazi. Natumesema kazi ni kazi. I think without going into much more details, let me assure the people of Nairobi. The task I have received is huge, but it is not daunting. There is grace, there is goodwill, and I am a hard worker. I will wake up every single morning to serve the people of Nairobi in all the 14 functions given to us um, in the Constitution. We are going to make Nairobi work, and we'll make it work together. I need you also to play your part as we transform this city. We are capable and we are grateful that there's a lot of support that is coming um, to our city. It is not going to be magic. Things will not change in a day or two days. We will be patient, but you will see incremental changes as we move along and work um, to, together on that.